In this video, we will talk how to plot y error or x error bar graphs. We know that plotting with such error bars gives us a prompt idea that how much the values are in error with the standard value or how much is their standard deviation. So the very first one we discuss y error plot. Now let me first discuss the data. It is uh, much better to understand the data first and then plot them accordingly. In the first column I am having the dose and in the second column the measurement of these dose by a dosimeter. So the standard values are actually the input dose. Now how much these values are measured by the dosimeters they are here and what's their difference with the standard the difference is equal to this so to plot with the y error bars i will have to set this one to y error and now i will plot the x here the y here and then their errors and i will go to the scatter plot and inside the scatter plot now I can get a quick idea that which of the measurement is in more error. I can see that the reading at 150 is having much y error. So this way I can plot with the y error bar. Similarly, we can plot with the x error bar as well. So the data is that we are having the input value which is this and we have a check on our input that this may be problematic as well and we measured our input data and this is having some error and we calculated that error here and these are the readings of the dosimeter so what we will do we will make this one the x error column is set is x error and now we will plot this this one the error and then the dosimeter readings and we will go to a scatter plot and here i can see that the reading a 200 is having more x error more input error and it is always better if we are having sufficient data for the x and y errors then it is always better to plot this data with x and y error both for example we are having the input and then how much error is in the input it is here and this is the calculation of this error which is the difference of this from this and then we are having the dosimeter response and then the difference with the standard is actually this one so we will make this x error is set as x error and the y error we will set is y error and now we will plot like this we will select the input here and then the x error then the y readings and then the y error so these four columns i go to the scatter plot and they are here and this now giving me a quick idea that from the input we are having the 200 error the more problematic while in the output or the measurement the 150 value is having more error so this way we can get the error values very quickly from our data we can change the look of the plot the look of the plot is very easy to change this is let me uh, click here on the data points and a menu will appear this menu is showing us our main data point which is this one and let me change this to any other color and let's say the color that I select is green and I apply this now I see that it has changed not only the 
the line the data point here but also the error bar so i will come to the error bar and here inside the error bar let me select for this one blue and i apply now i see that it has changed the color to blue and i go to the y error bar and i change its color as red and i apply and now i can see that it has changed the error bars as well the data point in green the x error in blue and the y error in red so this way we can edit or we can change the look of our plot thank you for watching